is a little offbeat one. Um, so it's perhaps a little confusing because it's really very realistic. The numbers come from research. So yeah, interesting to look at solving an actual problem. Right, so Bob eats nine Tic Tacs during today's math lesson. Each lesson he aims to increase his consumption by three sweets. Are you seeing an arithmetic problem there? Because he's going to increase by three sweets. So you're actually saying you're going to add three each time. So we have information. We have the D equals three. Okay. There are approximately 50 Tic Tacs in each box. Gosh. Okay. Is that N? Is that T N? Wow. This is different. Okay. So nine Tic Tacs during today's math lesson. Okay, this is an example where I've put the question down because you're going to need the question to understand what you're doing because this is like a very strange piece of information. The word approximately is also interesting because we don't do approximately in math, but we are doing it today. After how many lessons will Bob have finished 10 boxes? Finished 10 boxes. 50 Tic Tacs in each box. Okay, let's just quickly figure out how many Tic Tacs is that. Okay, so... It's 10 boxes, 50 Tic Tacs each. So we've got 500 Tic Tacs. That's actually what they're asking. So it's a roundabout question. It's actually a bit nasty the way it's been phrased. Okay. Um, right. After how many lessons? After how many lessons? How many lessons? So what position in the number of lessons that have gone past? What position will he be in to have gotten to 500? So they're actually asking for N. They want how many lessons will there be 500 Tic Tacs already consumed? So now he will have finished 10 boxes. Finished, finished. So is this 500 that they give me, is that like all of the ones that he's eaten up to that point? Or is that like the TN? Is that the number that he eats on that day that they want? Think it through. Will Bob have finished finished okay so this is actually when will he have gotten through when will everything that he's eaten add up to 500 right so that's sn they're giving you sn they want n there's no question as to which formula i'm using um because i've been given sn i have to use the sn formula um and i want n i've got everything else okay so i'm gonna sub directly in it's sn equals okay but sn i got given so you're welcome to write the formula out. I'm not going to. Um, 500 is my SN. That equals the N over 2, the thing I don't have. Okay. And then it's 2 times 9, my A, plus N minus 1 D. Okay, I don't have N minus 1. Uh, my D was 3. Okay. N and N, ooh, I'm going to end up with a quadratic here. Oh, well, always can use the formula. Hey, okay, so um, my trick here was to always multiply that 2 over here when I'm finding N, because otherwise I've got to multiply fractions, and um, that's just a horror movie to me, so I don't do stuff like that. So I've got 1,000 equals um, the N multiplied by all these things. I'm just going to do this bit quickly and clean it up. That's 18. That's plus 3n minus 3. So that means I've got 1,000 equals 18n plus 3n squared minus 3n. So if I rewrite all of that to have um, it all equal to 0, I'm going to end up with 0 equals 3n squared plus 15n and then minus the thousand. Okay, at this point, I don't feel like factorizing. Definitely going to use the formula. And I'm going to get out what n can be. And now I'm going to get something that's uncomfortable. Okay, so warning. Right, once I use the formula, so that's just me saying here yeah, I've used the formula. Um, you, at this point, won't actually get a mark for subbing in. But you can always show that substitution. It's a good sort of protocol to use. I'm just seriously running out of space here. Okay, I'm going to get something that's really not looking good. So I'm going to get answers. I'm just going to 
change colors so that you can realize I'm dealing with something a little bit different. So what I get is N equals something it's not allowed to be. It's 15.9. Okay. Or N is negative 20.9. Okay, now both of them are illegal. So what's going on? What's going on is the question says after how many full lessons? Yeah. Can a lesson be divided? Can a lesson, can you be, get 15.9 lessons? Yes, because you're dealing with time, which has infinite ways of dividing it up. But the point is, I can't have a negative one. So that's definitely not going to work. Okay. And this shouldn't work either, except the question was quite tricky. The question said, after how many lessons? So after how many full lessons will Bob have eaten 500 Tic Tacs, essentially? And my answer is going to be, well, after 15.9, so I've got to have n as a whole number. I've got to say after how many full lessons. So it's going to be after 16 lessons. Okay, my keywords here were approximately and after. This is a very strange question, but I think it's, it's still quite an interesting one to do. And now we'll do part B. The amount of sugar Bob should have is 38 grams per day. After how many lessons, if there's one per day, will he start exceeding this amount? One Tic Tac contains half a gram of sugar. So basically, after how many lessons will he get to having 38 grams, more than 38 grams? Again, what's tricky about this question is this word exceed. Yeah, Will he start exceeding? So basically, he's going to have however many grams he has with nine. Then he's going to go up 12 Tic Tacs and it'll be 6 grams. And then how many, you know, what number is it going to get to before it hits that 38 or more exceed? So it's, got to, it's got to be the day on which he gets beyond. The day on which, okay. So when the TN, when the amount on that day, not the total that there was the previous time of 500, but the day on which he gets to 38 grams, when 38 is the TN, okay, what will the N be? So we know we're dealing with the TN formula. I am going to write it out this time. I've got enough space to do that. Okay. And I know that we need to know how many grams is in that last one. It's, it's 38 grams. Just doing a quick pre-calculation. 38 grams. It's not 38 sweets, eh? 38 grams, okay, would be... How many sweets could you have if it's half a gram in a sweet? You could have double that, okay? So it's actually 76 sweets. You see how this question is like a real side swipe? Okay, so on what day is he gonna, he's gonna exceed that? Okay, so it's when the 76 sweets, gosh, that's a lot. That's like, yeah, nearly two boxes. Okay, anyway, so it's when the TN is the 76, right? So it's going to be 76 equals, what was A again? 9, right? Plus, I don't know this because that's what I'm working out, and the D was 3. Okay, so when will we get to that point? It's going to be 3N minus 3. I'm going to add the 3, and I'm going to subtract the 9. So that's going to get me to 70, and the 70 is 3N. Okay, again, I'm not going to get a comfortable number. Okay, again, I'm going to get N... If I divide both by 3, I actually get 23 and a third. Again, not supposed to be allowed, but the question said, when will he exceed? Okay, so 23 and a half lessons in. So that means it's going to be, it's going to happen on day or lesson 24. If you sub in 23, so if I work out the... Day 23, he gets to 75, and day 24 is 78. So clearly, only on day 24 or lesson 24 does he actually exceed the amount, and that was what the question asked.